Good morning friends, welcome back to my channel Coding Environment. In today's video, we're gonna see how we can add two numbers represented in a linked list form. This is one of the lead code problem where the problem statement says that you are given two non-empty linked lists representing two non-negative integers and the digits are stored in the reverse order. So this is one of the very important points that the numbers stored in the linked list are in the reverse format. So if you see here, the number itself is 342, but it is stored as a like 243. The head of this linked list is pointing to 2. Similarly, the number 465 is represented as a 564. So the numbers are stored in reverse order in the given linked list. And when we add this, the resultant number will also be stored in the reverse format. So the number 807 will be stored as a 708. So let's see how we can solve this problem. So just think like 342 is stored in a 243 format, right? And your head is pointing to 2. Similarly, the number 465 is represented as a 564 and your head is pointing to 5. Now in this case, the number of nodes in both the number is same, right? So here also we have 3 nodes and in this also we have 3 nodes only. So if we try to add these numbers, how we add any given number? So just assume that if we have to add 3, 4, 2 and 4, 6, 5, how you will add it? You will add these two numbers and if there is any carry forward, you will take that carry forward to the next uh, number, right? So just assume that 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So your digit, your digit, if I say here, is equal to 7 and there is no carry forward. So carry forward is 0. Now, now you will go and add this second number, which is 6 and 4. So in this, your sum will be equal to 10, right? Now, as soon as the sum is going into two digits, you are dividing this sum by 10 and taking the reminder only here. You are taking the reminder only here and whatever the quotient is there, you are taking, you are making that as a like carry, right? So if you add 6 plus 4, it will make as a like 10, so you will take 0 and 1 you will carry forward to the next number, right? So if you add these two numbers here, your digit, so in the second time, your digit will be equal to 0 and your carry forward will be equal to 1. Now this carry forward, you will add it in this, in this. So there will be one more carry forward here, which is coming from this 6 plus 4 addition and you will add these number again. So 4 plus 3 plus 1. So it will come as a 8. So your number after addition is 807. Right? So if, if you do this, you're in the so if this is your first iteration, this is your second iteration, the in the third iteration, your digit will be equal to 8 and your carry forward will be equal to 0. Right? So do the same operation here. So to solve this problem like addition of 342 and 465 in the linked list form, we are also going to do the same thing. But as you can see, the numbers are stored in the reverse format. We have to add these two numbers first. And then if there is any carry forward, we have to take the carry forward to the next node, add these two nodes and the carry forward value. And again, if there is any carry forward, we have to take the carry forward to the next node and add that value with the carry forward, okay? So let's do this uh, example. So 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So in this case, your digit will be equal to 7 and as this number is less than 10, your carry forward will be equal to 0. Now when you're doing this operation, 6 plus 4 and the carry forward will be equal to 0. So we'll add 0 here. So 6 plus 4 plus 0 will be equal to 10. So in this case, this 10 will be divided by 10 and you will get the digit as a 0 and a carry forward as a 1, right? So this 1 will get carry forwarded here and then you will add these two nodes which is 4 plus 3 
and then again you will add one node. So 4 plus 3 plus 1 will be equal to 8. So at the end your node will be equal to 7, 0, 8 and the head will be pointing to this, right? And this is your correct answer. So if you see this in the reverse format, the sum of these numbers are 807. So if you see this, the sum of this number is 807. So this is the case when the both nodes are equal, like the number of nodes in both the numbers are equal. In this case, it is 3 and this case also it is 3. Let's see one more example where in the first linked list, in the first link list, the number of nodes is more. So in this case, it is 4 and in this case, it is 3, right? Let's add this number. As the numbers are stored in the reverse format, we can add these numbers like this one. So 5 plus 5 will be equal to 10. So in this case also, your digit will be 0 and carry forward will be equal to 1, right? So your node, your node will contain 0 here and then the carry forward will be 1 here. Now 6 plus 2 plus 1, so which is equal to 9 here. And you will make the connection here. In this case, your digit again will be equal to 9 and carry forward will be equal to 0. Now, in this case, your carry forward is equal to 0. So, 4 plus 4 will be equal to 8, right? This is still less than 10. So, your digit will be equal to 8 and your carry forward will be equal to 0. Now, in the last node, as there is no node, so this is the last node of the second number, right? So, as there is no node, you can assume that there is one node or there, in this, there will be a value we will add as a 0 here. Now 3 or and there is no carry forward here. So the carry forward value is 0. So 3 plus 0 plus 0 will be equal to 3. And we'll create, we'll make this as a head node and return it as a like our answer. So in this, the resultant sum will be nothing but 3, 8, 9, 0. So for saving the time, I have already written the code here and we will do a dry run of this code and see how this code is working. Now before that, let me give one nice example here that suppose we have got the list 1 as a like 3, 5 and 7 and the list 2 as a like 6, 7, 1 and 3. And these are stored in a reverse format, right? So your head is basically pointing to these numbers. So actually the number will be 7, 5, 3 and 3, 1, 7, 6, right? And this is your head node. So your head is pointing to 3 and this list to head is pointing to 6. Now, just think if you have to add these numbers, you're going to add these numbers, then again this number, again this number, and then till what time you're going to add it. In this case, when your list 1 is pointing to null, what are you going to take? You, you don't want to add this null with 3, right? You, you will take, suppose, as a 0 here. You will take 0 as a like you're going to add this number with this, okay? Similarly, case happen if there will be a number in which the list 1 takes more number of nodes and list to have small number of nodes. So what we saw here is like if my list is pointing to null, we will take zero to sum to the next number. Now this is happening here. Check this condition. If my list one is not equal, so we are we're gonna run this while loop unless and until my list one is not equal to null or list two is not equal to null or my carry forward is not equal to zero. And Till that time we have to run this, okay? And why we have to run this till the carry forward is not equal to zero? Now just assume that instead of three here, you instead of three here, you'll get a number as a like nine. And from here also, like instead of one, uh, we have a like a four here, right? Now what will happen? 
So if you add this 4 with 7, you will get 11 here. Okay. And again, if there is instead of this 3, you have a 9 here, you're going to add 1 with 9. So this will become 0. And then again, carry will come here. So to handle this carry, this third point is necessary. Okay. So till the carry is also not equal to 0, you have to run this while loop. So this is very important. And uh, yeah, now let's take that original one uh, where we have taken the number as something. The number was basically uh, 3, 1 here. Okay. Now we are going to run this. Now this digit, what will the digit value? The digit value will be if my list is not pointing to null, take the data from the list or take the zero. Same thing will happen for the list two also. If the list two is not pointing to null, take the data from the list two or else take zero. Okay. So this was the condition I was explaining here. Now, how we will do it? We will add the numbers here. So let's start from here. We will add these numbers and then we will get it as a nine here, right? We will get it as a nine. Now, what we're going to do is like we have to add this number. We added this number. Now there is two operation we have to perform on this. One is the modulus operation, modulus by 10. So if you do a modulus of nine by 10, you'll get the number or the digit as a nine itself. And if you do a divide by 10 here, what you'll get, you'll get the value as a zero. So this will act as a digit for you and this will act as a carry forward for you. So if you do this operation, these three lines, right, what will happen? Your digit will be equal to nine and your carry forward will be equal to zero. Now, before that, if you see what we have done is we have created a dummy node. Okay. So let's first create this dummy node, which is not nothing but having value zero. And this dummy node purpose is to just keep the track of the head node. Now we will create a tail node also and point to this dummy node. Now, once we, we have completed this operation, this sum, and we know what is the digit and what is the carry forward, we're going to create a new node. We're going to create a new node with this new node and pass the digit in it. What is the digit in this case? The digit is nine here. Now we'll pass the digit in it and we'll create a node with value nine. And then we will make this tail dot next to point to this nine. That way your, this will get linked to here. And now we'll move this tail to here so that when next time we'll create a node, we can just keep on adding this node with this previous node. Okay. So your tail is now moved from here to here. And uh, yeah, nothing will happen. Again, what we have to do, we have to move the list from three to five and six to seven. Okay. So what it is doing it, it is taking if my list is not pointing to null. So because if you do list one dot next on null, it is going to throw a null point exception. And there can be a chances that you are trying to add a number with like seven, four, three, one, and the next number is only like three. So in this case, this has to move three times, right? So because of that, you have to take this, this conditions that if your list one is not null, if your list one is not null, then only you do list one dot next else do null. Okay. So with these two lines, we're going to move our list one to five and list two to seven and then add five dot seven. So with this number, we'll again get five and seven. Your digit one will be pointing to five. So in this case, your digit one will be pointing to five and digit two will be pointing to seven. Now in this, do you have a carry forward? No, your carry forward is zero, right? So you're going to add this, you'll get 12 here. So your sum will be equal to 12. Then you're going to do a mod of this 12. In this case, your digit will become two and your carry forward will be becoming one because you do a uh, like 12 by 10, which will result as a like one for you. Now you're going to create a new node again here. Add a digit two in this make this tail dot next to point to two and then move this tail here. 
again you're going to move your pointer from 7 to 1 and 5 to 7. Add the 7 and 1, what you'll get? You'll get 8. There will be no carry forward in this case also. So your carry forward will be equal to 0. You make this tail dot next equal to 8 and tail will move here. Again, you're going to add this. So at this time, if you see, when you try to move from 7 to this node, right, there is nothing. So that way you will get null here. Okay. And when your list 1 will be pointing to null, what the digit value will be? It will be nothing but the 0. So at this point, you're going to add 0 with 3. And there is no carry forward. So the number will be nothing but the 3. You, uh, you create a node, make this tail dot next to point to this new node and then move this tail node here again. As there is no carry forward, you'll come out of this while loop. And what was the purpose of this dummy node? This dummy node was nothing but to keep the track of your head node, right? So the result node or your head node, if, if I have to say, what will be your head node? Your head node is this, right? Your head node is this, which is dummy dot next. So this is your dummy head dot next is your resulted or the head node. And this is what you have to point. So this way you can add two numbers, which is represented in a linked list form in the reverse order. I hope you understood this video. If you have any doubts, please write it in comment section. And if you have understood it successfully, please write understood. If you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. Till then, have a great day and goodbye.